So you might have figured out that I've stumbled onto a quest for all things cheap and alternative. And today's product fits the narrative. My name is Ali Al-Abaidli and welcome to Astra Pharma. An all-in-one USB slash power solution by TI, Terence Industries. I found their store on AliExpress. Of course, I'll include the links in the description. And they have sent me their PowerBox Go and PowerBox Pro. Of course, I did not pay for these products, but I have full editorial control of this video. I am under no obligation to say anything whatsoever other than my own experience, of course. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and start the review. I like to keep these videos short and concise for you guys. So let's go ahead without further ado. So both the Pro and the Go version of the PowerBox came in these neat boxes. Of course, you can tell which one is which from the back here. And of course, the unboxing experience for both is quite similar. You have the device itself. You have a wedge to help you mount the device onto your telescope. You also have a USB 3 cable and for the Pro version, you have your temperature and humidity sensor. So diving into these devices side by side, let's look at the side view of both and compare them, keeping track of the differences. So let's call this right here side A. For the PowerBox Go, you have your five 12 volt DC power outputs, as well as for the Pro, but you have your two USB 2 inputs here as well. Side B for the Pro contains four USB 3 inputs, as well as an extra 12 volt DC output, that makes a total of six, as well as a three to 12 volt adjustable output and a 19 volt output for things like mini PCs, which a lot of you guys like to use for your acquisition. Here you also have your humidity and temperature sensor for the PowerBox Go, which does come with it of course. And for the PowerBox Go, you have your two USB 2 and two USB 3 inputs, as well as an always on 12 volt DC output. Finally, Side C for both devices is exactly the same. You have your main power input and your PC control USB inputs. So in conclusion, the PowerBox Pro has two extra USB 3 inputs, one extra 12 volt DC output, one extra three to 12 volt adjustable output, and one extra 19 volt output for mini PCs. And also the temperature and humidity sensor of course. It does not have the always on 12 volt output which the PowerBox Go does have. And also the PowerBox Pro can handle 15 amps of current while the PowerBox Go can only handle 10. So both devices do come with both Ascom and Indy drivers. I briefly tested the PowerBox Pro with the StellarMate just to see if it works and it did. And then I actually took the Pro with me to the desert to shoot with. I installed the drivers right then and there just to see how plug and play the device is. I actually never take an untested device with me out into the field but this time I did. And thankfully everything was as smooth as butter to my delight. I had no problem quickly installing the serial driver and the ASCOM driver and to my surprise this is something that I didn't know before. This device can actually switch on and off individual USB inputs and individual 12 volt power outputs. So needless to say I had a great problem free experience with it. I loved how things were labeled on the Nina control board matching the labels on the device itself. I took this brief recording of my Nina acquisition session and then I came back home satisfied. So how does this device compare to its competitors, mainly the Pegasus power boxes? Well, I do own the Pocket PowerBox Advanced Gen 2 and I've used it for a number of years actually. I feel like the TI PowerBox Pro is a fair comparison. It's about $100 cheaper. It has more USB inputs, more 12 volt power outputs. All of its USB inputs are powered up to two amps rather than just one with the Pegasus Pocket PowerBox. I've actually had problems with devices losing power on the Pegasus. And the TI PowerBoxes feel just as sturdy and well built as the Pegasus PowerBoxes in my opinion. And you have the option to switch on and off individual USB hubs, which is an option only on the ultimate PowerBox if I'm not mistaken, which is like a million dollars. The only advantage for the Pegasus I can think of off of the top of my head is probably the Doheater controls. So in conclusion, if you had the money, which one should you buy? I'd personally go for the TI PowerBox Pro. I feel like it's objectively better. It has more power, more USB, the ability to control your inputs. I just wish that it came with its own power supply. And I also wish that it had some Wi-Fi controls, but neither of these things are deal breakers for me, actually. I'm just glad that we have more options nowadays and the TI PowerBox is a great option. Anyways, this has been Astra Pharma. Please consider liking, commenting and subscribing if you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.